Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 45. Two more boxes. Real quick. What I'm doing here is, oh, and um, let me say this. Thanks for stopping by. This whole YouTube thing's fun in a way because it's kind of like you just came by the front door and we're like, crack, crack, crack. Can I come check out what you're doing? And I'm like, go do something, bro. Working over here. <laughs> no, thanks for stopping by. It's cool. It's, it's, it's fun seeing people um, stopping in and checking out a true hack at work. I'm laying out the bridge bracing so here is where this little hole right here oh yeah i got my camera it's i'm burning the midnight oil again i got my hole cut so i'm using this box got my hole cut out and i've marked this is going to be a 22 and a half so I marked my hole where my, where my bridge is gonna sit, drilled a little hole there so I know where it's at inside. Wow, I can feel this box resonating even as I'm talking. Yo, 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 you right there, see that? Well, you can't see that, but yo, 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 I can feel it on my hands, cold. You know what that means? That means this box is already gonna be singing. So I drilled that little hole right here now, if you look right here, see this right here? This distance, it's like that much. If you wanna get that little back angle that the general has taught us, you know the general, the general is, don't you? Del Puckett, Del Puckett Cigar Boss Guitars. He'll tell you what I, you can keep your neck straight. And let me get this out of the way. So you can, like I have this block right here. This is the same size. So you can put these things straight. I mean, that's fine. But the back angle does, in fact, give you a cooler action at the end. So you want to keep it high up here and then keep it low back here. And that, sort of like an arbitrary thing you doesn't you can keep it real thin like that guy or you can go thicker like I'm doing right now this guy and I'm basically gonna put him here and the whole idea being here is, is I'm trying to leave as much surface to let this let this board resonate without putting a lot of stuff on it however it does need to be braced so it won't bow when you put the when you put the bridge, so here's the bridge. Say this bridge represents the top of the box. So I know through drilling that hole exactly where he's going to be. So the little game I'm playing right now is laying him here, seeing how much of a back angle I want. Because if you come in here, you can see right now, this is just him sitting there touching right on here, and that's cool. You could actually do that. You could actually let him just go ahead and touch right here, but. I have just discovered this little sum. This box and this box are for a wife and her husbands. <laughs> so here's here's his. I got him all laid out. Wait till you see. I laid this one out tonight with black hardware. Wait till you see this one. This one's just going to be just. It's olive. It's olive there, old uh, wild Mike. This one, speaking of Wild Mike, has Capo Tone. Now, I've never used one of these before. Some CB Giddy, old Capo Tone. What you got in your box, man? I got some Capo Tone. If it's got Capo Tone, leave it alone. <laughs> so, right here, I guess the instructions said some junk, like put it. Put it, see this right here, like beneath. 
beneath the ridge on the side. So I know right here where the bridge is going to be, which would be like right here. So I know I don't want him squashing this. So what I'm going to do is this is one of the boxes that I might not do a real hard back angle because I want the space. I want this little wedge right here pushing up against this side of the box right here. So when I screw in my string holders, they'll have something to screw into because this edge right here is way too thin to hold the weight. So this is going to go here, here, and then there'll be plenty of structure right here and strength. <laughs> I like to say strength. <laughs> and this capitone, which the holes right here, is going to be like right here. And I can actually, by having it high enough, I can put him where they, here where they said to put it. Or I can probably slide it up under here a little bit without it squashing this. Put it here enough so you can at least see it so you know this thing's rigged out with some capitone. So anyways, that's what I'm kind of doing here. I'm excited to see how this is going to work. And I also didn't know this. They had this capitone with the piezo disc with the white part facing up. And this part facing down, I thought that you needed to have that white part facing where it's going to resonate, like on the box, like facing this way. I'm curious to scientifically see how that's going to work and sound. Some guys out there are kind of like going, duh. I know, I know. This is, I'm still discovering this stuff myself. All right. Side note, let's go on a little rabbit show here real quick. I'm not going to yap all night long. I keep saying that, but look what I just got, bro. I mean, I've been using my old Black & Decker, which I just uh, rehabbed to my son. I've been using this this one right here, this DeWalt 20, 20 volt. Listen, I got the guns here. I'm working on them right here. See them guns? But it's still, I'm constantly just using this thing, which is why I'm wearing these for this. And then again... I've been putting all kinds of ointments and pain relievers right here because it's just it's just my arm here. So, but look at the difference. Can you see that? Dude, this one right here is so, it's lighter. It still has, I can just go on and on and on about this. I love this. I might buy another one. This is the 12 volt one. I might get the 20 volt one just to have them both. And this little pop out chuck, when you're going now I told you about uh, Carl Cobalt. You know, remember these? Oh, Carl Cobalt. He's going to get a phone call from me soon. But it does work great for these right here. Popping out these drills. They just pop in. Drill, 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 drill. And then pop them out. And then put my screw screwdriver bit back in here. Oh, dude. And look at the cool lights on it. Oh, you can't see it on the camera. It's got like three like lights from like... First encounters of the, of the third kind. Look at that. Wham. Okay, anyways, I, I'm not trying to be braggadocious here. What I'm saying is I've been building for 10 years using Riff Raff stuff. And after 10 years, I felt guilty about spending them. It was like 100 bucks, But I still felt guilty about buying this. But I don't feel guilty. I love this thing. <laughs> I'm saying. So, that's what I'm doing here. I'm laying all this out. Getting this guy all laid out. I'll probably, once I figure out what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue this piece down, get him ready, get him ready. This is going to be a three string basic, just a basic three string with some capitone. And the other one's going to be a three way. This is going to have the piezo beneath the bridge. I'm going to put a three way. Um, a single coil up here. This one, I'm gonna give you a little sneak preview right now. You ready for this? Look at this. Dude, uh-huh. With the abalone inside of these black knobs. And yo, look. Oh yeah, man. This one right here with the, with the olive drab green and all black hardware. Oh, I'm seriously, I, I get so excited about laying these out because they really, Kind of do a 
develop their own personalities real fast. This guy inside. Did I already show you this inside? So he's just, he's just gonna rest right here, and he's just gonna go right on top of here. I'm not real worried about the acoustic sonic qualities of this because it's gonna have two pickups in it. So it's gonna sound good, it's gonna be hollow, but this is primarily gonna be based around the electronics and the magnetic pickup. This one, I'm focusing more on it being acoustic and being a big resonant box because this isn't gonna have a real elaborate pickup system on it. And this one will probably not be used all that much for, for an electric look. Yo, 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 yo. So that's what I'm working on. So with that being said, with these two boxes right here working, yep, the Rockabilly Bassy here still. I'm waiting for his pickups this week. This one's coming along so super, I love it. Can't wait to string that one up. So with that being said, I've got some boxes back here that have got to go. I need I need to move I need to move them out. I got a cell guy, so I'm going to switch over to a video that I shot the other morning, really early. Here's listen, this next video, <laughs> I woke up like at four thirty or five in the morning, and got dressed, and was going to try to do all this funny stuff, and I shot that this video coming up. <laughs> I shot this video and I'm like. Literally five minutes after I shot it, I went back to sleep, dude, and passed out. <laughs> For like, I didn't think I woke up like at nine or ten. I was all trying to be Mr. I'm going to get up early in the morning guy. No. I'm Mr. I'm going to stay up late at night, and then I need to sleep for a little while, yo. Anyways, if you want to buy some of these cigar box guitars that I have hanging back here, watch this next little clip right here. And thanks again for stopping by. Thanks again for just, you know, if you're leaving comments and stuff, I'm reading them. It's cool. It's cool having this little interaction here. It's fun. It's making this whole cigar box building thing even more fun than it already is. Okay. Check it out. I'm going to get back to working on this. Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> Look, precision cutting. So I'm putting this single coil in here from um, one of the CB Giddy kits. It comes with this handy dandy harness, this bezel. So if you screw up your, well, it's supposed to make your installation a lot easier. So you can kind of hide your hack and make it look pretty. I use this as a tracing stencil here. And if I can, just get him in here like this. I will, but I just finished precision cutting by hand. Anyways, you get my point. I so far I did this one in here. Slow whoa low and low wasn't in a hurry and I'm fully prepared to use this this might just be an artistic thing because it looks cool in the black but if I had my druthers and I didn't nick this all up which I didn't which is cool I'm just gonna this line right here will drive me psycho what am I doing what, who am I talking to this is why if you ever see the if you're seeing us looking at the camera we're not looking at you like other entities are. <laughs> but uh, we're looking to make sure we're in the camera here. Look, bam. See? I mean, that's sweet. There's no nicks in here, which is fine if there was nicks. This is a cigar box guitar, but every once in a while, I start getting persnickety and I want to just get that thing razor sharp. So this one came out cool. I'm going to vacuum it up. There it is. Bada bow. Look how you like me now. I'm gonna drill the hole here and the hole here for the, to hold it in here. And then as I unfold, if I need to use this, I will. If it just looks cool. See how this script, the script in this, whatever that says, sin compromiso, compromiso. No compromise, bro. Why? Excalibur, look. This is an Excalibur box right here. Schwang. 
If I want to use this, I will. If I don't, if I want to keep it like nice and razor sharp, I'm going to do that. That's all. <laughs> I'm just excited because the reason why I get excited about this is sometimes this doesn't work out. Like sometimes you'll be dremeling in here and you'll nick it or whatever because sometimes the paint will pull, the wood will pull, and then you just got to go with it. You got to find the walk around. I said walk around. The work around. The work around's fun. It's fun to do the work around. Okay, that's it. Look at these necks just getting all glued up. Gluing them up, got them all lined up, measured out. This one's going to be a 24 and a half inch scale. And the wife, that's the, that's the husband. That's the husband's. <laughs> this is the wife. She's going to get a 23 inch scale. And that just has to do with the way the box is setting up and, and where I want the bridge to go. Gluing up and gluing up and still waiting on a pickup for this and the knobs to come. Got custom knobs for this. I'm excited about it. Now I'm going to clean up. Look, this is that employee that clocks in. You know, he had a long night last night because he probably was out partying. And he's supposed to work an eight-hour shift today, but he can't do it. He's got to sleep it off. I'm just kidding. Our neighbor's got a dog over here. They're like dog sitting. He just wants to fight with everybody he sees. See what I'm saying? That's Braveheart down there. He's not much of an he's not much of an employee. I've only given him one job, but I mean, he kind of gets the. I get the, at the end of the day, he gets the sh the boxes shipped. So if you get your boxes in the mail. Obviously, he did his job. It just takes a little sleep. Braveheart Richards, are you interested in liking and subscribing to the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen? Well, then like and subscribe.